Hello, all my lovely YouTube subscribers and everyone that's just visiting. Um, please subscribe. Why are you here? But um, I'm here finally to do my Tracy 2023 video. I usually do one of these at the beginning of the year, but the beginning of this year has been so full on that I just haven't got around to doing it. I am going to briefly recap what's happened since December, just in case there's something you missed. So since December, we've had the book of 12 chapters of the infinite night that got released at the beginning of december that's my latest book um if you haven't seen the trailer for it you'll find it here on youtube i've also in february or was it march march we released the ebook everywhere so the ebook's out and the paperback is out also, at the beginning of this year, I released the first season of the Stellium Storytime series that I've been doing on Patreon as one big audio, which you can get at the All Things Tracy store if you want to catch that. I'm currently doing the current series on Patreon right now. So season two is sort of unfolding every month on Patreon if you want to follow it like a series. Um, what else is going on currently i'm also working on Sorsha's story still i'm about i'm over a third of the way somewhere between a third and a halfway through it because i do other things now because i do readings and mentor sessions and patreon and all sorts of stuff um i'm kind of not getting as much time to work full time on the books but it is coming together really well so i'll continue doing that in 2023 what else is currently happening currently we are also the tv series has just got the option has just got renewed for the next two years we'll continue to work on getting that up it's been really difficult between COVID and then you know financial crisis it's not kind of the best time to be trying to get a tv series up but you know we're going to keep working at it because we want to get there in the end also, so uh, what else to come? To come this year, we've got wait, on the 15th of April, my second hand store. Um, I'm opening a second hand store off my All Things Tracy store, which is just my research books. So I'm selling off um, a large part of my library. So if you ever wanted to wander through my library and probably nick off with a few books, you can do that at my pre-loved bookstore, which is opening Saturday, 15th of April at 12 noon. And I do only have one copy of everything, obviously. Um, so yes, if you want to get in and get a bit of memorabilia or just the books themselves are all fantastic. So, and a lot of them are quite rare. I mean, I found books in my library that are like selling for $2,000. It's insane. I'm not selling them for that, <laughs> but I'm just saying um, a lot of really, really rare esoteric books in particular. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, check out my secondhand store, which is opening next weekend, next Saturday. Um, also, coming up in May, oh my God, I'm so excited about this, is I have signed with a US publisher, Book.io, which is a blockchain publisher, and we are releasing 12 chapters of The Infinite Night as a NFT collection, um, because what they do is they mint the book as an ebook, and it, there's lots of original covers that come with that. And so you don't actually get to pick, you just put in an order to mint. And then when it mints, then you get your copy and you're surprised by whatever cover. And it could be one of the rare ones or the not so rare ones, or you just never know, um, which is kind of fun. I kind of really love that about NFT collections that you never go what you're gonna get, but you can, actually choose op choose the option of ordering a print version so that you can get the print version with the cover that you that your nft on the cover and the reason i've gone into blockchain um is because it's you own the book it's like buying a solid copy of the book you can resell the book i get a cut of that when you do resell the book not a huge cut but it's like the 
rather than us authors not getting anything for the ongoing book selling process, we are now cut into the because a lot of these books are appreciating too so we're cut into the process so that you know when the book makes money we make money yay that's a concept i'm very very excited about blockchain technology so that's why um but it's very very it benefits the author and it benefits the buyer and you just need to get yourself um a wallet and a reader and off you go so if you want to be in on it you don't even have to be into cryptocurrency necessarily there is a visa option so you can investigate that if you just want to go to book.io and investigate what they're all about um there's i know there's a lot of people out there especially in the twitterverse that that really know all about it and they're all over it like a cheap suit um i'm very excited about that okay enough about that now the other thing that is coming up is 12 chapters of the infinite night on audio we have done the deal for that and it's currently being recorded got a fantastic narrator a he because I think um, he will lend his voice to the series very well and he'll play all the characters very well. So I'm very excited about that. And what else? Uh, lastly, um, as you know, I self-published the last book and one of the reasons was so I could blockchain publish without it um, getting too messy with the rights um, and dealing with other publishers. But... Um, I began my own publishing company called Dragon Circle Publishing and I've been talking with fellow author Kylie Chan who's also been doing a lot of work around self-publishing and so we're thinking about just putting together a business to help people with self-publishing and when blockchain publishing becomes a more um, standard thing um, because pretty soon Book.io are going to have a self-publishing function and we want to be able to help people through the process because I think every author can use as many income streams as they can handle okay so the dragon circle publishing that's what we'd like to do um we're thinking about getting editors attached if you need editors we can do artwork we can do layouts we can do just about anything any of the fill in the holes because a lot of people can do their own advertising or they have their own website or maybe they need one or they want to store off that or and we're kind of putting together a team that will be able to help you with all those in between jobs that you just don't have a clue about Kylie is, I think, also putting together a course, like a recorded course. And then if you, you can't get behind the technical stuff, then come see us and we'll help you out, you know. So it's kind of giving people a lot of different options. So that's what I have coming up for 2023. I will continue to do, uh, you know, monthly readings through Patreon. If you're interested in joining up to Patreon, I do the story time through there. I also do monthly research notes through there. I'll continue to do readings and mentor sessions and so forth through the site. My site, All Things Tracy, is open if you want any autographed books, including the new one. And we still have some of the hard covers left as well. Although um, my tv series production is threatening on taking off with them so if you if you want some uh you want a copy of the hardcovers get into the store and get them before they all go because once they're gone they're gone and that's about it for me i think so yeah really excited for this year and everything coming up um it all seems to be unfolding mostly in the beginning of the year which is great because it means in winter i'm going to settle in and get some serious writing done because i'm hanging out with Sorsha and she's just too much fun she makes tori look like a bit of an angel she is brutal but i love that about her she is you know her story is just so much fun um, and that's it from me so I hope you all have a fantastic 2023 and thank you so much for your support this year and every year and I hope you're enjoying all the innovation and exciting stuff that's going on I really am and uh, yeah that's about it for me I'm gonna just keep plowing through and doing my author thing and loving it so thanks again and I will speak to you soon Bye for now.